What are we talking about? Million dollar monkey bread. Best dessert ever. You'll feel like a million dollars after you get through. Puffy biscuits, but stuffed with what? Some turtle candy bars on the inside. Oh, that gooey caramel. It is so nice. Be sure and get here because, ooh, I got me a sweet tooth. I have got me a sweet tooth on today and I am craving it. I am, what are we talking about? I call it million dollar monkey bread. Mm -hmm. Now you won't have to spend a million dollars on it, but folks, it is so rich and tasty. You'll think that you did. And I often wondered, maybe Shan knows this question because she's sort of like Google. You can ask her anything and she'll just spit an answer right back at you. So I used to holler Alexa. So now I was like, Shan, why do they call it monkey bread? I have no idea. Well, when I was little, my mama told me when she dumped it out of that bunk cake pan, it looks just like the top of a monkey's brain. Oh. Now, how did they know that? I really don't know how it got that name, but folks, whew, it is so easy and it is so good. And you'll be wanting to make it not only for dessert, but every holiday treat that comes along. We even have it for breakfast, dinner, and supper. But one of the most important things that you got to know, if you're going to cook this outside in a Dutch oven like we're going to attempt today, you need to first have yourself a deep Dutch oven. Now, when I'm talking deep, I'm talking from here to here. They make a shallow 14 and they make a deep 14. This happens to be the deep. Oh, and look what Santa left in there for me. A helmet. No, it is a bunk pan made ever so popular from... Many years of making what? Bunk cakes. Because when you get through, you just turn it right out there and everything is good. But when you put this inside a Dutch oven, you see that you have room for it to fit in there. But look, folks, how close you are to the top of that lid. So make sure that when you do this, you alter this recipe a little. It calls for three cans of biscuits if you're doing it in the house. But if you're doing it outside, we're just gonna use two because I don't want you to get them biscuits right here too close to the top of the lid and burn it. So now that we have give all the advice and instruction that me and Sadie know how to give, right Sade? We're gonna start making us some monkey bread. Oh, to make monkey bread, it says, first you must have bread. You must make biscuit. Lou, do you know how many millions of biscuits I done made in my entire life? And I don't, I don't even wanna make no more biscuits, so, I know, I can hear y'all saying, no, cowboy, don't do it. Don't break out your whack em biscuit, folks. I'm going to break out the whack em biscuits, and I am going to make them better than you even thought about. Oh, my gosh, these things are going to be so good. And million-dollar monkey bread. This candy here is called, what? Turtle. Now, I have eaten turtle soup before, but I ain't eat turtle for dessert. So... These used to also be called millionaires. And Lou says, man, I would really love one. And Big says, me too, I have a sweet tooth. But folks, I guess you could use about any kind of candy bar you wanted to put in these. But first of all, in our little mixing bowl here, we have some cocoa powder and some white sugar mixed up there. We have our Wacom biscuits. We have our bunt cake pan, which has been greased really well. Wacom in spot. That was the right spot it was. Now, these biscuits, mm, they be looking pretty big and you be thinking, I think that might be too big for this. So I need you just to sort of just mash them just a tad. It don't take much. And at one time before culinary come by, we had a knife, cut them precisely in half. And then I just want you to sort of make them round again. Then I want you to take one of these here candy bars, cut it in here. And you can use fourths, you can use halves, whatever you need. But I need you just to wrap it up here and get it all covered up really well to where you would never know in this piece of dough there is a hidden treasure. Oh, don't that look good. Now all you got to do is just roll around there in that butter. No, in the sugar and the cocoa. And then just, what? Place them in the pan and you'll be ready to go. Now... If you don't cut these even and you want to cut them down smaller because you think, I don't think people need that big a bite of candy bar in a deal. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now, all mine going to have just a full half in them. So let me get them put together. We'll stack them up in here and things will be good. 
Well, it is a done deal. All my pups has got it assembled. Say it always comes back as quality control and makes you sure. Does it look all right? Okay, Sade says it will work. Now I took me a little sauce pot over and a stick of butter, some brown sugar and some white sugar and let her come to a good sort of, I'd say a low boil to get, get really smooth like a caramel sauce. When you get half of your biscuits in there, go ahead and pour half of the sauce. Then you have a cup full of chopped pecans and you put half of the pecans in there. You can see where this is going, ain't Shannon? It's a lot of halves going on. Then go ahead and roll up the rest of your biscuits, put them there on top, pour the rest of your sauce over, reserve the half of the cup of pecans that is left because that is gonna go right on the top when we get through. In it goes the Dutch oven. Now, if you're in the house cooking this, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Put this on the middle rack to where everything is located. Lock the door because I say to tell you, folks, the smell that's going to permeate through the kitchen, living room, out the windows, down to the neighbors. There'll be a thousand people at your house before they ever get done. Lock the stove up. I'm going to cook these in a Dutch oven, so come on, I'll take y'all with me. Well, in the Dutch oven it went, lid went on, on a tall trivet, and we get the mesquite coals out. And we lay a pretty good heavy line around the bottom on the outside edge. Now some of you be telling yourself, so many times, Cowboy Kent, you've told us to go pretty light on the bottom. Well, folks, remember, inside that Dutch oven is another pan. It is a bunt pan, so we have a little bit of a heat barrier there that's going to help us out. And I want to cook these from the bottom more than the top, really, to get them to push up. So the top, we went ahead and loaded up pretty heavy, but we can see it. We can take some of them colds off as it begins to get closer up here. No wind today. Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh, that is a rarity in Oklahoma. So rotation won't be so much, but we will still have to rotate to regulate some of that heat. Now, folks, that does take some doing cooking that wrestle. Don't just be slapping one of them in your mouth. All that caramel inside that biscuit right there, it gonna, whew, it'll burn you. Get you one pulled off there and let it cool. And if you're doing this in the house, you'll be able to keep a little better eye on it. But just let it cool. Just, whoa, that one's hot. If you can, folks, let it cool off just a minute. And then just, let me just, oh, my God. Look at that ooey, gooey center. And it's still too hot, Shan. Oh mm, my gosh, but I'll, I'll be wanting me one of these. Woo. Nuh uh. Off limits to the puppies. Mm. Oh. I'm talking, folks. This might be some of the best dessert that the cowboy has ever come together with. Uh huh? Mm. Whoo wee, that'll make you get up and dance. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory ain't got nothing on us, nor them Oompa Lo Oompa Oompa Loom. What was them guys? Well, as always, we thank y'all for stopping by camp, and whoo, it was a great deal it was. Remember, everything that we use will be listed down there in the little link below, or just go to the website and tap on there, and you will find the recipes. Mmm, bunches of them they are. But as always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag flying in camp wherever we're at. God bless y'all and please be safe. For the rest of y'all, get on in here. You know it's big hug time and God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the million dollar monkey bread trail. And some, oh, that is wrong. Oompa Loompas. We have launched some new apparel, some t-shirts, sweatshirts. We got you fixed up, so be sure and check them out.